Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez in weather control, and we are, of course, tracking Hurricane Irma out approaching the northern Leeward Islands in the Atlantic. However, of course, you want to know what's happening locally for now, and then we'll get to the potential impacts from Irma later on here in this webcast. So we're taking a live view from our Fort Lauderdale camera, Broward County, mix of sun and clouds. Uh, we're seeing a couple of showers popping up along the western suburbs. Otherwise, it is relatively quiet, uh, closer to the coast however we could see some scattered storms today that breeze out of the east southeast five to ten miles per hour temperatures in the upper 80s low 90s it is a hot one and highs will be right around 90 as we head into the afternoon some storms around we're seeing about a 40 percent chance of rain a uh, boating right now looking okay sees two light chop on the bays and tonight we'll see lows around the upper 70s so some spotty storms will be possible over the next few days. We'll see a 40% chance of rain. And in the meantime, you should be taking care of getting those hurricane supplies ready and your hurricane plan in place because any final last minute preparations uh, would be taking place Friday. That would be our final good weather day before late Friday night and into Saturday and Sunday. We see the potential impacts from Irma, which of course we have a separate detailed tropics update, but in the meantime I wanted to show you the track as Irma is expected to maintain Category 5 status and forecast to move west-northwest here over the next few days and could be moving across parts of the Keys as we get into Saturday and Sunday as a Category 4 hurricane, and yes, we are seeing a higher chance for a significant damaging winds here across South Florida into the weekend. We do have a separate tropics update regarding Hurricane Irma and Tropical Storm Jose, and you can check that out right here on our website, cbsmiami.com, and also stay tuned to CBS4 Weather as we'll have updates on air throughout the day.